Hey there, Gamer Obscure here, continuing Pokemon Red. It's time to fight Gary. I didn't think we could squeeze it in last time, so we'll start fresh here today. Gary's going down. He does have a damn good team. Doesn't matter what starter you pick. He's got some nasty stuff coming our way. It's gonna open with Pidgeot, though. One that he's had pretty much the whole game. And I think just about every Pokemon he has is at least level 60. So... Be prepared. Pidgeot, level 61. It's 11 levels higher than my Raichu. Thankfully, it doesn't outspeed it. And Gary is notorious for using, like, full restores and stuff. Really, you're gonna use Thunderbolt on an electric type? That's not gonna do anything. What the hell? I think we can probably just body slam it now. We'll conserve my electric attacks. So let's see, Alakazam, change Pokemon? I don't think so, right? She's probably the best thing I have. Because I can paralyze it. Oh, you psychic, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. I mean, Raichu has a pretty good special stat, but even still, yeah, look at that. Oof. I mean, if it does another one of those, I'm done for. Let's see if I can body slam it. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to one hit KO it. No, he's fully paralyzed. Oh, that's lucky. That's lucky. Critical hit on that one. And just like that, two down. Man, if I'd have known it would be this easy, maybe I would have just kept it going. Damn. So there's Rhydon. We'll use Vile Plume now. Mega Drain. We'll do a lot of damage to this thing. Is it enough for a one? No, almost. Almost. It's 15 levels ahead of me. Yeah, using those full restores. Gary is notorious for that shit. It's 15 levels ahead of me, and I can almost one-hit KO it. And a crit does, of course. If a not crit got it down into the red. Arcanine. We are just breezing through this. Holy balls. Now, I mean, of course, we still have the credits and stuff to go through. Uh, we'll let Golem take care of the Arcanine. I thought about putting Snorlax out there, but I want the fire resistance. Plus... I mean, Stabbed, Earthquake, and Rock Slide are going to destroy this thing. Arcanine's very good, though, so I don't anticipate one hit KOing it. But definitely two. Unless he does another full restore. Nope. And he does Leer and it fails! He, he did Leer and it failed! What is wrong with you? Why would you even attempt to use Leer? I'm surprised it didn't use Roar. It's about the only thing that would have been stupider. So, Executor, a grass type. Man, what's got the bulk to deal with it? I mean, Charizard with Flamethrower, of course, has the type advantage, but Executor has very good special. So, I don't know if this is gonna do a whole lot, truth be told. Man! It's like a third damage? And that barrage, holy cow, it's doing nine. So it has a potential to end up doing 45 damage if it hits all five times. And it did! Ah! Oh, hit five times! What else does Executor know? Does it know Psychic from him? No, it's got Hypnosis, but I'm not worried about that. That doesn't bother me, because of course we have the Flute of Shame. That'll deal with it. I love the Executor's faces, though. Like, the Execute faces are all aggressive looking. The Executor ones are completely derpy. Look at that one on the right. It's pogging almost as hard as the Grimer is. The one in the middle, like the main face, almost looks concerned. And, and the one on the left just looks... It's like, huh? Like, it has no idea what's happening. It's fainted. I'm glad that thing's off the screen, because it's just... Just something about it. Shoot! Um... Shoot! <laughs> Raichu's pretty low on health, so I guess we'll let Vileplume do something. I don't think Mega Drain's gonna do a whole lot. Oh, Blizzard! I forgot it was gonna know Blizzard. All right, Vileplume's a goner. It was a valiant effort, Vileplume, but there's no way you're standing up to that. What?! Holy shit! The thing's almost 20 levels ahead of me! It's super effective. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sacrifice Vileplume. Use this on Raichu. Raichu's fully healed. So now, now when Vileplume goes bye-bye, Raichu can just Thunderbolt it into Oblivion. Avenge, Avenge Vileplume's failure. 
I forgot that Blastoise was gonna know Blizzard. I thought it was just gonna do Hydro Pump or something. So, that was my mistake. But there- Oh! It's not quite enough! Not quite enough. That bite's gonna do pretty good damage as well, but we'll just finish it off with a critical hit body slam. And just like that, Raichu is up to level 51. Holy cow, I think that's my highest level Pokemon. From Humble Beginnings Pikachu to the star of the team. Holy crap. No! No! That can't be! You beat my best after all that work to become League Champ? My reign is over already? It's not fair! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion! Although I don't like to admit it. Hey, there's there's a line of dialogue. Ending in not an exclamation point. Gammy! And now the music gets all, like, somber and pensive and thoughtful. So you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. Gammy, you have come of age! I'm a man now! Gary, I'm disappointed! I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. It's one of the most iconic lines in the game, for all the wrong reasons. And of course I can't read it with a straight face. It's trying to be serious here, Gam. Knock it off. Do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Gammy, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Gammy, come with me! Can I come individually, like, on my own? I need some privacy here, sir. <clears throat> Congratulations, Gammy! This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokémon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokémon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame! Gammy, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Gammy! You and your Pokémon are Hall of Famers! How many times is he gonna say congratulations? But yeah, now we get this... this bit here. Hall of Fame! Yeah, Raichu's in the Hall of Fame. This takes a bit of time. Here comes Golem. <laughs> it's, it's like a turtle in a rock. That thing's just silly looking, man. It looks so unoffensive and not scary. And Vileplume looks like a Happy Meal toy. Like, this stupid little face. I actually kind of love it, though. It's adorable. Finally, a fairly intimidating looking sprite. And we got Alakazam and Snorlax. Yeah, Snorlax is like the timeless art of seduction here. I don't... It's quite a pose. And there's Alakazam with his amazing mustache. I think is what that is. That's epic. Epic mustache there. And then there's me. There's me. T 22 and a half hours, even though a, a massive chunk of that time is just the Super Nintendo running in the background while I was editing videos and stuff. This probably only took like 15 hours, maybe? 15, 16 hours? I'm just guessing, but that seems pretty normal for a playthrough of this. And yeah, I had 31 Pokémon, I think it said, so I can get the item finder, but I don't really need it. Um, we'll just fast forward through the rest of these credits. We're not done yet, though. We still have to go to the Unknown Dungeon outside of Cerulean City and find and catch the Mewtwo. That's kind of like the true end of the game, I guess. And I'm curious how my Magikarp's doing in the daycare. So that's what we're gonna do once these credits are over. The game just restarts itself, or you can reset it yourself. But it doesn't matter, because I'll just cut to being back home once the credits are all done. The end. Yeah, so after you beat the Elite Four, you just- it just warps you back home, which is nice, because unless you have a Pokémon that knows Fly, trying to get back to- to the mainland from Victory Road would just be a huge pain in the ass. So, we gotta go to the Unknown Dungeon and catch a Mewtwo, but let's first check in on our Magikarp, so I'll just see you at the daycare. All right, we are at the daycare. Let's see how many levels my Magikarp has grown now. It's grown a lot by level. It's grown by 21. So pretty much throughout the whole game, it grew 21 levels. It'd be a level 26 Magikarp. And of course, the next time it leveled up, it evolved into a Gyarados. But I don't have room for it, and I don't feel like, you know, taking one of my Pokemon and putting it in the PC just to grab it. So it can just stay in the daycare for all I care. It makes no difference at this point in the game. 
So all that's left to do now is go to the unknown dungeon, which is just outside of town here. We might catch a glimpse of the entrance to the cave. Yeah, there it is, just off the left hand side of the screen there. Saw the entrance to the cave. And the only way to get there is to surf. You gotta surf over there. We're gonna surf down. There might even be a trainer outside there. I know if you try and get in there too early, there's, someone's blocking the door. And I can't remember if they move only after you beat the Elite Four, or if you can access that area, you know, earlier. But you'd, you'd be absolutely insane to try. The Pokemon in there are out, outrageously strong. Like, I guarantee just about every wild Pokemon in there is going to be higher level than me. And, I mean, it's nice. It's a, it's a good place to grind. I think it's better... It's a better place to grind than the Elite Four itself, just because every time you fight the Elite Four, you have to go through the Hall of Fame and the credits and whatnot. And in there, you can just walk around, you know, and an encounter rate go brr in there as well. So, it's, uh... It's definitely worth grinding in there. You might not get the same amount of experience per Pokemon defeated, but you'll encounter them at a much higher rate than going through the Elite Four. So there we go. Yeah, seriously, like, level 31 Paris is here. She better have a Parasect. Thank goodness. Like, I'm the strongest Pokemon trainer in the world. I don't want to be messing around with level 31 Parasects when I'm about to go to a level 70 Mewtwo and probably, like, level 60 Chanseys and Rhydons and Kadabras and stuff. I mean, seriously, the Pokemon in the in the Unknown Dungeon are just outrageously strong. So her cute mushroom Pokemon... I'll show her a cute mush... No, Gam, don't. Don't say it. Don't say it. You know better. You know better. Alright, so we're just gonna fast track to Mewtwo because... Again, the encounter rate is pretty high in here, so... Yeah, and I mean, we won't have to cut much stuff out because we're gonna see so many Pokémon we've not seen in the wild. And it'll give you a chance to just get a glimpse of how strong this stuff is in here. So yeah, once you come in, just, just get into the water and surf down to here. And like, there's a ladder, but don't go down that ladder, go down these stairs. And here we go, we got that far without a wild encounter. And look at this, a wild Magneton. It's level 46. Holy crap. We'll just body slam it. I might move Snorlax to the front. Man, that, that barely did anything. Magneton's got pretty good defense, as it turns out. Oh no, it thunder waved me. It thunder waved me, boo. And it's trying to confuse me as well. Oh no, and I'm fully paralyzed. Oh, please don't confuse me. Like, being paralyzed and confused at the same time is just the absolute worst. But yeah, as you can see, a thousand experience points from that. We gotta cure our paralysis. And I think we'll just put Snorlax out in front. I feel like he's the most type neutral to go against the wild encounters we're gonna get. If we even get that many, well, there's another one. A wild Arbok, okay. All right, I can handle that. It's no big deal. No big deal at all. It's gonna bite me though, I hope I don't flinch. No, I flinched! Damn you. At least it's Screech failed. Can't even one-hit KO a wild Arbok. I mean, it is six levels ahead of me. I flinched again, and now paralyzed me. You jerk. You jerk. Yeah, Arbok's not much to worry about, though. All right, so let's let's heal my paralysis once again. I'm getting paralyzed every battle so far. Like, what the hell, man? Stop doing this to me. So yeah, we end up in this area, and now it, it becomes like this maze bit. Oh, wild Venomoth. I think the only Venomoth we had seen was from Sabrina's gym. Yeah, and it knows Psybeam. I like Venomoth. I just like... Oh, I'm confused! Okay, so Psybeam does cause confusion. That's what I thought. I mean, not always. It just has a chance to do it. Like, I'm just getting status to just... I'm, I'm gonna go insane here. Like, I'm already confused. And now I hurt myself. We're gonna have to rest here. But there's no guarantee. No, oh, you can't put me to sleep, you big jerk. Now I'm asleep. Alright. 
This Venomoth is really testing my patience here. Don't do it again! That's fine. I can handle being paralyzed. I'm still confused! I thought the confusion would wear off in the sleep. Shit. You bastard. I have a full restore. We're gonna use it. I have two full restores. Ha! Take this, wild Venomoth. I can't believe I'm using this on a wild Venomoth. I didn't even have to do this in the Elite Four. What the hell? I'm telling you, that's, that's how strong these things are, man. Don't put me to sleep again! I'm just gonna run. Forget it. I think we've seen enough. I can't escape! I can't escape! No! What an embarrassment! Stop! Watch my special drop now as well. Yes! <laughs> what a disaster! What an absolute disaster. Alright, we gotta do something else here. What the hell, man? This Venomoth, this is probably the toughest Pokemon I have fought so far in the entire game. You've got to be kidding me. This battle's taking like three minutes. Good grief. All right, well, let's get Snorlax out of the top spot. I guess we'll give it to Alakazam. Although if I fight a Kadabra, that's not going to be good. So from here, I think we want to go this way, and then you got to hook back to the left. There's an item. I don't feel like going to see what it is. Not a lot of encounters yet, though. And not that I'm complaining, but still. It was another Venomoth. And I used that opportunity to use my other full restore for Snorlax. But yeah, we're almost to the Mewtwo. I'm so close, I can almost taste it. No! Oh, it's a Ditto! A wild Ditto? Now, Ditto's scary, because it just turns into you. And I, I don't remember exactly, like, if it gets all your stats or everything. I think it keeps its own stats, maybe? But, it, like, it takes on the type and everything. So, yeah, now I just, I'm fighting an Alakazam. And, you know, this isn't going to be very effective now. It's level 65, and a critical as well. And it's going to recover. Let's just get the hell out of here. There we go. At least I got away safely. Like, we're so close to the Mewtwo. No! The damn thing was an Electrode, and it did Explosion and just took us both out. Doggone it. Man, just keep following these paths. Dude! It's up here. We're very... Very close. I don't feel like grabbing that item either. I mean, th this Let's Play's as good as done here. All I gotta do is surf over to this next staircase, and, like, we can almost see Mewtwo. If I go this way... No, he's just out of sight. Just out of sight. Dude! So, I mean, th this here, this is the fastest way to Mewtwo. If you want to go down those other ladders and whatnot, just to explore, feel free. But there it is. There's Mewtwo. And this thing's just insane. Dude, come on! Interrupting my epic reveal, and it's like, Mew! Now, one thing I didn't show is how to do the Mew glitch, because you can actually have Mew in this game without, like, any kind of hacks or anything. It's kind of convoluted, but it's pretty cool to get Mew early on. So, anyways, yeah, level 70 Mewtwo. That thing would just dominate the whole team. I would, I would be powerless. But we throw the Master Ball, and that's it. We got Mewtwo. We are the true Pokémon Master of all time. Here's the Pokedex entry for it. I mean, that thing's just so ridiculously overpowered, it's not even funny. We're not gonna give a nickname to it. It went to Bill's PC. That's Pokemon Red, y'all. I had so much fun playing this. Holy crap. I hope you had fun watching it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.